What follows in the short video I have after this introduction is a short video that I made for myself when I was still 320 pounds. It dealt with a little technique that I had learned about how to remember the future. Uh, it sounds new aging and it kind of is, but there's an aspect to this diet of a mental aspect that a person has to deal with when they're really big. And you know, you can talk yourself out of stuff because you have such negative opinion of yourself or your negative opinion of your ability to be successful at anything. This uh, little short video was something I made for myself to try to remember when I, at some time in the future, would achieve my, my goal of weight loss. I had some other things in the video that I'm not going to share on the internet, uh, but they also dealt with other problems that I was having or mentally having, and I needed to deal with those problems also. And I'll tell, I'll be honest with you, the truth of it is, is I've listened to this thing for the first time today in maybe a year or more, maybe a year and a half. And I'm absolutely amazed that almost every single thing that I remembered when in that video has come true. I mean, literally. And you don't have to be religious or, or new agey to believe in this at all. Your mind has everything, everything to do with your success or failure. Hope you enjoy the video. I'm going to write a little post about it that will explain this in a little bit more detail. By the way, I uh, when I made this video, I was, I said, 320 pounds. I was huge. Uh, what I did, I went back in some old pictures and I just compiled some old pictures of myself when I was younger and thinner to help get those memories refreshed in my mind. And I watched this video over and over again and uh, use those memories, uh, those pictures as a memory tool to remember myself at a smaller weight. But uh, there's, uh, if you've never been at a smaller weight, you can use other people's pictures to remember when. So anyway, that's what this is about. And uh, what follows is just a little 45 second snippet of the video I made for myself. And uh, it'll give you an idea on what you need to do to get your mind straight. I remember when I was really fat, but wow, look at me now. People say, I don't even recognize you, you've lost so much weight. People say, you look so good. People say, you look 20 years younger. Wow, I remember when I used to be really fat, but look at me now. I remember when I was really fat, but wow, look at me now. People say, I don't even recognize you, you've lost so much weight. People say, you look so good. People say, you look 20 years younger. Wow, I remember when I used to be really fat, but look at me now. Now that you've seen the video, uh... I just want to make a quick comment about it. I want you to understand something that's known but not really understood by a lot of people. You and I, everyone, we have memories. Memories that are literally locked up inside of our mind. They're available only when something sets them off. You know, you can go somewhere and smell something that will remind you of your grandma. And, uh, Memories will flood back that uh, you thought maybe you didn't even know that you had, but they're there. You have memories locked up in your mind of a healthier, smaller version of yourself, a more confident version. Maybe you've been through some troubles in your life that's knocked that confidence out of you. But you know, those memories are still there. And this is a technique to get those memories released. And you know, along with the memories comes all the feelings, all the uh, 
ways of looking at the world that went along with those memories because memories are grouped together in your mind. And in a way, this releases those things to come back. And uh, in parts of the video that I didn't share, I talked to myself about certain things and goals that I needed or wanted to achieve. And I talked about those things to myself. I remember when such and such wasn't true about myself. And now many of those things that I talked to myself about in that video that I made for myself have come true. And it's not magic. It is a way to get your mind wrapped around what it is that you want and to get those memories reactivated and along with the memories comes the will and the desire to achieve them.